Come on, give it up. Ouch. Is that important? All right, guys, this week on the homestead, we are back from uh, a week away and we're trying to get a few things done, but the rain just keeps falling. You know, we're just uh, taking our time, going at the pace of the family, going at the pace of the weather. We're not in any hurry, uh, except for the fact that winter is coming. <laughs> winter is coming. And we do have to have some sort of electricity uh, or some plan so we don't freeze to death. The current plan is to finish the solar shed, get all of our solar power equipment set up, and we'd be able to run the heat in the camper. We're working on the roof on the shed. Where'd you go? But uh the rain has has prevented us from getting any further than just getting the tar paper down not the prettiest tar paper job you've ever seen uh, because we want it to be fully dry before we put on the metal uh, roofing sheets and so we're waiting for the sun to dry out the tar paper before we go any further on the roof we also have a leak in the camper, specifically on my pillow. So we have a temporary tarp put up to cover it, but we also found a really cool way to cover the top of our camper. Wow, it's big. You're gonna love it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Also, Keisha's been doing a lot of research on wild edibles and what is already just naturally growing on our land that can be eaten. We're gonna walk the land and identify some of those things. If, uh, if you can help us identify any of them, comment below. You can help us out with our research. And at the end of the video, we have some big news we want to uh, let you in on. <gasps> Manzi, I love you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so we're just trying to be faithful with uh, the season that God's put us in. All right, so we're finishing up the roof. So we're gonna get uh, all the sheathing finished up and then the uh, we're gonna do a felt tar paper. And now, you know, I, I knew I had this little overhang um, that I was just gonna cut later on all the sheathing on all four sides. And now realizing that my roof is a little bit too steep for me to climb up there and, and cut off the, the overhang. So I'm gonna have to uh, nail up some sort of like two by four to give me some footing uh, up on the roof in order for me to be able to do this. So that's the plan, that's next. For the record, I do not like cutting wood on the roof. Cutting those little overhangs was not fun, very difficult. You know, I have watched some YouTube videos where guys are like just throwing their sheathing up there and just cutting it later and acting all big and bad and uh, not as easy as it looks. So next time, measure, cut on the ground, then install onto the roof. All right, well, the sheathing is done. We gotta start moving on to the tar paper. We got this stuff, it's a, a eco-friendly, non-toxic, organic, 100% recycled felt paper that, uh, you know, is a lot less toxic than like your basic roof underlayment, like your synthetic roof underlayment. All right, so it's time to start cutting the felt paper. We're gonna, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna roll it all out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them all down here. And that way we're not dealing with this big heavy roll up on the roof. Uh, as little cutting on the roof as you can do, the better. So we're going to cut on the ground. All right. So I mean, I lie, I have decided 
that roofing is not our favorite. This is uh, kind of tough, but we're making it work. I don't know if you can see it. We're getting the paper up. What are you doing? We are putting on our tar paper. Um, and then we're gonna put the roofing on. How do you think you guys are doing on this? I think we're doing good. It's our first time ever doing this, but I feel pretty good about it. And now we're gonna go demo the roofing and see if we can utilize it to go over top of this tar paper. Yeah. The old shed on the new shed. Good job, Zach. While those guys work on getting the old tin off of the old shed, I am cutting uh, the tin for the roof. And um, uh, a buddy of mine showed me this trick you could use if you don't have the proper tools and let's face it we don't ever have the proper <laughs> the proper tools uh he told me he showed me this trick that uh you could take your regular uh wood blade on your circular saw and flip it backwards where the blades are going i guess down um and use that to cut metal and so far it has worked like a champ it's loud and sparks and debris and shrapnel flying everywhere, but we got safety glasses and it's working. It's uh, getting some really clean cuts. I've tried a, uh, a Sawzall before and that's just like, it's so out of control and wobbly that you end up with these horrible cuts. So far the circular saw trick is working. So that's good news and we're just uh, trucking away. Zay is our bug guy. He loves yeah. catching them. No, 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 no. And then he loves freaking people out with them. <laughs> There's one in the fire pit. We had a leak in our camper. It was a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. Um, right on my pillow. Yeah. We are looking at just a couple of different options that were pretty pricey. And knowing that this is just our temporary home, we didn't want to go crazy. Anyway. So, we found a company that reuses billboards as tarps. So, we're going to do an unveiling of that because you never know what you're going to get. So, <laughs> let's go take a look and see what we got. In her, in her bubble. What's a bubble? Look. All right, we're going to take it out. Careful not to cut into the... Big. What is it? Well, the good news is it's black on the back. <laughs> what? What is it? Banji, can you help grab a side? <laughs> yeah. I think it's like 60 feet long. Right on this side, you can see what's good. <laughs> what? What is it? Camper cover. Are we? I think it's bigger than the camper. Yeah, it is. We just cut it.
window will go on the front of the solar shed. The front, because it looks like the nicest window. <laughs> Do you right. need me to go get a screwdriver or something? I think we're done except for the drill, yeah, on the outside. It's siding, it. whatever this thing is. This thing is uh, this trailer. All right, it's still not free. We're just going to rip it out. Come on, give it up. Ouch. Is that important? Hey, let's just use that old window in the trailer. We got it out. I don't know what condition it's in now, but you know, we'll find out. It's a little snug. Yeah, so some shims and uh, yeah, frame it in. And then frame it in. Put a nice little frame around it on top of the siding. That'll work. Well, right now I'm just picking up any debris and stuff to get out of the way of the tractor or when we mow. Uh, but then we're also gonna go and we're gonna take some photos of different berries and plants and trees to get an idea of whether or not they're wild edibles. So we're gonna see what we have available to us on the land and we wanna know what we need to cultivate, what needs to not be disturbed and what needs to go, yeah. All right, let's do it. Great. Yeah, there's so much food available that people don't even know about. The saying goes, money doesn't grow on trees, but it really does. Like, that's the fact. Money really is just a way to trade labor for labor. So, but we have resources available to us all over the place. You mean the resources are in the harvest? The resources are in the harvest. It's a real, real thing. Um, but that's, I didn't know that that's what permaculture actually stands for is it's, it's all, it's holistic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's just, it's not just the land that they're talking about. It's life. Oh, wow. Okay. The lifestyle. Right. So this is another thing here. Right, guys it's time for the big announcement on October 17th on October 17th we are having our very first project day we're calling demolition day demo day is October 17th and we want to invite you to come up onto the homestead and help us tear down the old trailer and the old shed and so, and the, and the old cabin. So we got a lot of demo to do and we wanna figure out what we can salvage, what we can burn, what we have to get hauled off. We need help. We need you to come, bring your gloves, bring a crowbar, uh, bring your heavy equipment, bring your guns, not actual guns, bring your muscle. So send us a message, let us know that you're interested in coming and we'll send you uh, the rest of the information. So we hope you can join us on October 17th. Guys, thank you for watching as always. Like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, send us your questions, Yay. and let us know that you want to come be a part of Demo Day on October 17th. And uh, as always, guys, be blessed. Go be a blessing. We love you. We hope to see you soon.
No, do this. What?